Thank you, Les Ken Corla. As a long-term member of and a long-term advocate for credit unions, I am pleased to have the opportunity to introduce the Credit Union Amendment Bill 2021. And it's also very timely, as of course tomorrow is World Credit Union Day. Now, the objectives of this bill are first to amend certain provisions of the Credit Union Act 1997, in particular to provide for the amendment of the objects of credit unions to include the provision to its members of additional financial services as are for their mutual benefit. The Credit Union Act as it stands largely limits the role or objects of credit unions to accepting savings and providing loans. There is an additional list of services which credit unions can provide approved by the central bank and subject to conditions. However, this list is outdated in the rapidly changing world of financial services provision. In order for any credit union to expand their range of services outside of this list, for example, to provide current account services, specific central bank approval is required for each individual credit union. This bill would allow a credit union to provide a greater range of financial services to its members, for example, current accounts, where the following conditions are met. Firstly, that such financial services are for their mutual benefit as determined by the board of the credit union, and secondly, that the credit union in question would hold where applicable, any and all authorization required under the relevant financial services legislation. Now, that last point is crucial because it makes it crystal clear that credit unions must operate fully and wholly in compliance with the relevant legislation pertaining to the financial services they wish to offer. In my view, whether or not a credit union can offer a regulated financial service to its members should not be at the sole discretion of the central bank. The second objective of this bill is to provide for the establishment of a credit union policy committee. The purpose of the committee would be to review the impact of credit union policy, sorry, of central bank policy on credit unions and provide feedback to the central bank on their policy development process. This would be a formal consultation process and the central bank would be expected to have regard to the deliberations of the policy committee. The committee would be set up by the minister and should include persons with expertise and experience in the sector. Such a committee would mirror CUAC, the Credit Union Advisory Committee, which is already set up to advise the minister. The third objective of the bill is to provide for miscellaneous matters relating to credit unions. First, it would require that the central bank obtains the consent of the Minister for Finance when prescribing the minimum regulatory reserve requirement for credit unions. Currently, the central bank prescribes the minimum regulatory reserve ratio, which is 10% of the assets of a credit union. It's worth noting that the Irish figure of 10% for credit unions is much more than what is required from high street banks in Ireland and significantly more than credit unions in Australia, the US and Canada. But whatever the figure, I believe the Minister for Finance must give his or her consent to setting that figure. It's also proposed that when amending a common bond, the central bank shall have regard to the common bond of other credit unions and ensure there is no overlap. It is really important that the unique nature of the common bond should not be arbitrarily altered. Finally, it's proposed that the central bank will administer the system of regulation and supervision of credit unions in an appropriate way and with a view to the protection of the community-based and volunteer ethos of credit unions. To me, this is crucial because it is what differentiates credit unions from other financial institutions. They are not-for-profit, 
member-owned financial institutions and run according to a volunteer ethos. This must be recognised and taken into account by the central bank in all its dealings with credit unions.